Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Clifton here, technology teacher. Um, this is an exciting week. Some of us are returning back to school and learning in person. Others of us are staying at home and continuing our journey there. Either way, it's great to see you. Welcome to technology class. And today we're going to take a look at code.org and the hour of code. And we're going to use Minecraft coding. Super dope, super fun. Um, we're going to stretch and explore um, what it means to code, what coding is, and how it can be a potential career in the future or a fun, really cool activity and skill to learn for the future. And let's jump into it. All right, y'all. So here's our Confluence Center technology classroom. If you click this link here, you'll get started right away and go straight to our classroom. You'll join. Um, our classroom using the code that's already inputted for you and um, I'll be able to see your progress and see what level you're on and see if you're stuck um, and if you need some help. Uh, okay, so Hour of Code. Yes, that's right. Minecraft. So I played Minecraft over the summer and it was really fun. I wanted to learn about why y'all like it so much and man, it is a fun game, but like it's really kind of tough to get started. I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to figure out how to use all the tools and to build and stuff like that and, and craft tools. So coding is similar. Like, so the creators of Minecraft um, had to write the code for the game and continually to build on um, to add more features using code, right? U using programming um, to tell the in, to give the computer instructions on what to do. Minecraft sold for two billion dollars to Microsoft. Two billion dollars. I can't even wrap my head around that huge, gigantic number and amount of cash. So um, so the creators of Minecraft started out as something really fun and something to in entertain people. And it turned into this huge game that everyone loves. So um, just like the creators of Minecraft started out, they started out writing one line of code at a time. Uh, we need to do the same and coding is is super fun it's not just a way to make money or, or have a job in the future it's actually really really cool to learn how things work it improves our math skills and our critical thinking skills as we solve problems okay so let's check it out let's see what coding is all about if you've done coding before that's awesome you're going to be able to stretch and explore your skills all right so what does it mean to mean to code um, computer coding is the use of computer programming languages to give computers and machines instructions on what actions to perform. It is the way humans communicate with machines, and it allows us to create software like programs, operating systems, and mobile apps. So it's a way for us to communicate with computers and instruct, and give computers instructions on what to do. Okay. Um, so there's a quote from Steph Curry. He's a really awesome NBA basketball player. I'm not a Warriors fan or anything. Don't get that wrong. Boston Celtics all day. But Steph Curry's awesome. And he says, anything that is worth doing usually doesn't come easy. Now, the number one thing when um, we start coding is it might, it might be super easy at the start, and then it starts to get difficult. Well, one thing we can do, one thing that we can learn in coding is, is our practice our perseverance skills and really um, try something. If it doesn't work, you can retry it again. One thing I love about Minecraft is that you can respawn. So you die and then you can come back and, and be kind of in the same spot where, you're, where your home is and, and start over again. Same thing with coding. You just have to push one button and you can start over again. All right, so how can we start coding? So as you can see, there's Barack Obama, President Obama, um, coding with students. Uh, President Obama knows how he knows how um, important coding is for the future. So we're going to practice our coding skills using the Hour of Code activities in Code.org. They have some really cool puzzles for us to solve to get started in Code.org, and we're only trying like one of the activities. There are tons of activities that you can do. You can create your own world um, in Code.org, um, just like Minecraft and you can build things, um, or you can solve puzzles. Today we're gonna solve some puzzles. 
So we're going to show wonder as we discover new solutions and persevere through challenges. And remember, the idea is to stretch and explore. All right. Stretch and explore. You might know how to do a lot of the puzzles, but some are going to force you to think about things a lot differently. All right. So we're going to begin our Minecraft voyage. We're going to use the Voyage Aquatic. So the Minecraft Voyage Aquatic is a fun activity that will challenge us and stretch and explore. We want to discover the code to solve each level. Read the instructions carefully so you know the goal of each challenge. All right, make sure you do that first. All right, and then we can click here and begin. Let's do it. So now that I've logged in, I can start my start my voyage. Um, I can play this video and it'll it'll give me more details about what's happening in the game. It's pretty fun, Minecraft style. Um, you can watch that on your own. I'm gonna skip that. And then you pick your pick your character. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Steve today. All right. So here's challenge number one. So you need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. All right, cool. Before we continue, here's something really important, really cool that you can do. If you would rather hear the instructions in English or any other language, go down here to English and select Espanol. I like to pick Latino America. And then now everything's in, eh, todo está en Espanol. Okay. Y puede ver el ojo objetivo y Aún el código está en español, ¿ok? All right, so you need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. All right, let's do it. All right, so my character is right here. So one thing I always like to try is just to click run and see what happens. Run the program. I already have two pieces of code there. All right, I went forward one. Okay, cool. So it says when run, move forward. And I'm going to move forward one block because that's how many move forward pieces I have. So I actually need to move one, two, three. Let's do it. Move forward one, move forward two, move forward three. Run. Yeah. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, so this page is really important too because there might be an easier way that you can discover. Um, let's go to the next one. All right, now I need to get into the boat. So I'm here and the boat is over there. So um, let's see what happens if I move forward three blocks. Oh man, and so moving forward three blocks didn't work again. Obviously I drowned in the water. So I'm gonna move these blocks to the trash. I'm gonna hit reset kind of so I can reset start over again I want to move forward and then it looks like I need to turn so I turn right okay let's see what happens all right you turned right and it looks like I can just move forward after that and get to the boat let's do it man I'm having fun already cool reset 
and run. <laughs> kind of ran into the boat. That's cool. Awesome. Um, all right. So I solved that puzzle. I'm going to continue on and try again. Notice when I fell into the water, I, you know, I, it's easy for me when in a game to get frustrated when I feel like I'm not doing well. But in this game, it's about solving the puzzle. And um, I can always try again, even on this page, even when I, when I solve the code, I can try again and try to do it perfectly if I want to. Um, but really using our problem solving skills, you know, it takes a lot of perseverance and it's not going to work the first time. It probably won't work the second time. And if it's a really challenging, if it's worth being a challenge, it's definitely not going to work the third time. You have to try more than one um, solution. Okay. All right, y'all, we solved a couple levels together. Your goal is to get to level 12 for your hour of code activity. Now, it's not it's some for some of you, it's not going to take a full hour. For some, others of you, it might take a little longer. But either way, um, in your account, your work is saved. I'll be able to see your progress um, to make sure that you're able to do the activity. And the, the number one goal of this is to have fun, um, but also to stretch and explore our coding skills and solve some problems. Use our problem solving skills. And remember, if you're starting to feel frustrated about one of the levels, you can um, go back and do it, complete another level that you've done before to practice, or you can move ahead and skip ahead to the next level to see if if you're able to solve that and come back to the level that's frustrating you a little later. Um, that's the skill that I use um, when I when I start to um, get upset or think that I can't finish a level. So, um, so yeah, Lobos, I hope you have a wonderful day in technology class and enjoy code.org super fun um if you want to in the future you can come back to code.org and um check out some of the other activities that you can do um the, the dance party is probably the funnest thing on code.org but there's so many fun activities there so all right y'all it's mr clifton signing off i hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy code.org